Once you know about the one true God and that he is a single individual with personality, the next step is to get to know him personally. To know God is to know what he has revealed, and God has revealed himself in the Bible. It is the obligation of all people to study the Torah and share what we've learned with others. Specifically, parents should be instructing their children in the ways of God found in the Torah, as it says in Deuteronomy 6-7. You shall teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your home and when you walk on the road and when you lie down and when you rise up. Also, we should be sharing the truth of the scriptures with those in our communities, as, as implied by the commandment found in Deuteronomy 31, verse 12, which says, Assemble the people, the men and the women and the children and the alien who is in your town, so that they may hear and learn and fear the Lord your God and be careful to observe all the words of this Torah. So not only is it a commandment to study the Torah and share it with others, we should also heed the words of Bible teachers who teach in line with the Torah, as it says in Deuteronomy 18.15, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, from your countrymen, and you shall listen to him. Specifically, we should heed the words of the ultimate Torah teacher, Jesus the Messiah. Especially since he said, Do not think that I came to abolish the Torah and the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke shall pass from the Torah until all is accomplished. Whoever then annuls one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven, and whoever keeps and teaches, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. In this passage in Matthew, Jesus reiterated another commandment of the Torah that applies to all people. That is the commandment to neither add to nor take away from the Torah, as found in Deuteronomy 12, verse 32. Remember, he said, not the smallest letter or stroke shall pass from the Torah. Furthermore, Jesus taught here that a person's future position in the kingdom will be based upon whether or not they kept and taught the commandments of the Torah. The idea of basing your position in the kingdom on keeping God's commandments is foreign to most Christians, but it's the plain reading of Jesus' words here. It is true that we are saved by grace, but we are saved by grace in order to be transformed into righteous people. And as Paul said in Romans 2.13, it is not the hearers of the Torah who are just before God, but the doers of the Torah will be justified. Are you just a hearer of the Torah, or are you a doer of the Torah? For more videos, click on the subscribe link above, or visit youtube.com slash messianicniagara. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash messianicniagara, and visit our website, messianicniagara.com.